a little something you may have heard of called the internet, which allows you to, to digitally send pictures, messages, elephants, and currency. Excellent elephants. But that other stuff can be sent safely thanks to the RSA algorithm, which uses two really large kind of numbers to encrypt the data and only publicly shares the product of those two factors, meaning any computer that wants to encrypt the information has to find the original factors, which can take up to 2,000 years, also known as a very long amount of time. So, cybersecurity is safe. That's great. But not for long, because along comes a very clever chap by the name of Peter Shaw, who invents Shaw's algorithm, because he's not very good at naming things. He is, on the other hand, very good at equations, like this one, which means that a very bad guess for one of the factors, the power of p over 2 plus or minus 1, can make a very good guess. So you just type that into the computer, uh, find p, and you're golden. I'm done here. But not exactly. You see, a regular computer still has to calculate every value of p. Instead, we would use a proposed quantum computer. And a subatomic quantum level particles are in, as indecisive as iron at an all-you-can-eat buffet. So quantum computers can calculate every possible value at the same time. So that, that can solve the equation, and we're all done here. But not exactly. Quantum computers can calculate every value at the same time, but they only give you a random answer. And once that answer's been viewed, they only contain values which could produce that answer. So instead of remainder 1 that we need, we might get remainder 2, or remainder 3, or remainder 4, or remainder 75,014. The key with quantum computers is making the incorrect answers interfere destructively, and this is where Shaw, Shaw was clever. He realised that if all the about the remainders left are the same, then all the powers have to be have a difference of p. So just find p using that fact, and we're all good. I need a break. But I can't have one yet, because we actually need to use the Fourier transform, which puts all that information in a graph and finds us 1 over p, which we then need to use to find p, which we then need to put into Euclid's algorithm to find the original factors, and then we found the answer. Well done, Bobsy. Go. Us. I need to take a break. Of course, none of that really matters, because quantum computers don't currently exi exist, and your digital data is fine. What? Oh, never mind. Quantum computers are real, they've run your algorithm, your safety is gone, privacy is nothing, the world is ending. Sam, I have to tell you now, your new haircut is terrible, and we've all been laughing behind your. What? Ah. Never mind. Current quantum computers are too small to actually run the entirety of Shaw's algorithm for current encryption methods. Back to you, Sam. And I'm sorry.